What is up, guys? Swimbait University here. Today I'm gonna hit y'all another uh, bait versus bait video, and it's gonna be vortex tails versus paddle tails, and which one is better, when, where, and why. I wanna start out with the with the paddle tail. What makes this so much different from this? I mean, they're both classic swim baits. They both do the same. Kind of down the water, they're both meant to represent the same thing in the water, a bait fish that the bass eats. So what's the big deal with the tail? Paddle tails have a lot more erratic action than your normal vortex tails. Um, if you look at how these baits are made, they're kind of made a little bit different. They're, you see more flat top paddle tails than you do flat top vortex tails and that's just how they move water. This right here will have more of a all around hard back and forth kind of circle rolling kind of movement where which is very good in the summertime they kick back and forth very hard move a lot of water very erratic swim bait built to imitate something run through the water really fast something that is scared something that is lively though uh they're made different they're thinner they're usually on weedless swim baits and uh, that's that's mainly what a paddle tail does. They kick back and forth really hard, move a lot of water, and move really fast. Vortex tails. These are your cold water bottom bouncing tails. Uh, what this tail does is it, it, it you're gonna have your bait on the bottom. You're gonna be really nervous when the tail just kind of goes back and forth like that, like a little fish. So it'll be instead of kicking around really hard back and forth, up and down, making the bait roll, the, your whole bait will sit straight and that tail will just kind of go back and forth so it'd be just like that right there on the bottom just kind of kicking back and forth like a little fish what makes this one better than this one two words cold water in cold water how this how this tail is made it will not affect the action of this bait where cold water with this bait will actually affect the action of this bait how it makes the plastic denser and more rigid in cold water will actually make this tail not want to move that much at all without having to move the bait really fast. Where with how this tail here catches water, it will always move the same no matter how cold the water. they will always do a little nice subtle back and forth like a little fish. When will I throw this one up? Like I said, cold water when I'm on this or more in the summertime and springtime kind of deal when the water's warmer. Pros, more realistic with this one, usually come on more high dollar swim baits, a lot better in cold water. Cons, not that great in the summertime, uh, not really good for burning, and that's really about all for this bait. Pros of this bait, better in warmer water, you can burn in these baits, you can rip them, you can pop them, jerk them a lot harder, work them a lot more than your Vortex tails. Cons, not that great in cold water, and not as versatile as a Vortex tail. And if you can tell, Vortex tails come on a lot more realistic looking swim baits. This is a Huddleston 68 Special Weedless. This is a 316 Rising Sun and the 5 inch version. And that's really all you can say about the two different tails. There's my pros and cons, which ones I like better, which ones I like don't. And yeah, that was paddle tails versus vortex tails. This is Swimbait University. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the lake.